welcome back in the previous video as you know that we have connected our flutter application for the android for the android to our firebase ar furniture app project now in this video we are going to connect our flutter application to the for the ios to the firebase that is how we can connect our flutter application for the ios to the firebase so for that purpose we need to simply click if you come here let me tell you we have our ar furniture app firebase project in here you will see this add app icon just click on this add app icon and then you will see the platforms for which it is available so we want to connect it for the ios so we will click on this ios this one okay just click on it and you will see this app bundle id now from where we can get this bundle id you have to go back to your flutter application and here you will see this ios you can see that okay right click on this ios and then simply click here on open in inside the ios you will see this runner now inside this runner if you expand this you will see this info.plist if you double click on it you will see this button which is open ios module in xcode that is we are going to open this ios module in xcode so click on this button open ios module in xcode so it is going to open up our this ios module in the xcode so let's just wait for it so it is opening now in the ios module of our ar furniture app which is our flutter application of course processing is going on let's just wait for a while so it has been opened now in the xcode now if we click here on this runner in the xcode then you will see this uh, display name bundle identifier so our bundle identifier you can see it is com.mohammedali.ar furniture app now if you want you can change this now but once we provide this bundle identifier in the firebase app bundle that is here when we paste it here after that you cannot change it otherwise it will not work for you later on so please make sure that if you want to change then you can do it now for example i will simply change this to small english alphabets that is ar furniture app com.mohammedali.ar furniture app in my case it is the bundle identifier in small english alphabets i will just copy this bundle identifier okay just copy it and come back here to your firebase console and in here we have to paste it below this app bundle id okay just like this and i will give it name as uh, flutter ios ar furniture app then click on register app then we have this google service info.plist file which is for the ios so we have to just download this let's just download it so it has been downloaded successfully if i go to the download folder you can see that i am going to minimize the browser also minimize the xcode and this is now my google service info.plist so i will simply move it to the desktop okay you also follow the same step please okay because in case of ios it is little bit different than the android flutter android for the ios move this file to the desktop now what we need to do we need to go to our project which is our ar furniture app flutter project first of all this uh, file we will move to our ios inside the ios 
what we are going to do if you want you can of course create a folder here it is totally up to you but I will just directly move that in here so now it is inside my iOS folder inside the iOS folder I have Google services info.plist file so it is now safe in here now from here what we need to do I will open up the Xcode that is I will go back to the Xcode and now inside the Xcode I have to move this file inside as you know we have this first runner and then we have this second runner so inside that's this second runner that is below this second runner we have to move so just drag this from here and below this runner as you can see okay below this runner you leave it here that is move it here so you will see this okay make sure that these are checked okay this one checked this one checked and this one is selected and then click finish it will create the folder references that is as you know it is inside our iOS uh, inside our project iOS modules as you know it is safe here so that's why I told you guys to move it inside our project iOS module so anyways once you see that these two are checks and this one is selected then click on this finish after that you have to simply close the X code okay close it completely and then let's close this folder and we have to go back to android studio where our flutter project is now the next thing is inside the ios we have the file which is the which is basically the port file this one so double click on it open up the port file and here we have to set the minimum uh, iOS platform th that is on which our app will work so just uncomment this okay remove the comment from it so the minimum iOS platform will be 11.0 as you know this is according to the current uh, latest new X code by default here you will see 11.0 of course you can change it to 10.0 or 9.0 it is totally up to you okay it is totally up to you that is for which iOS platform you want our this flutter AR furniture app to work on okay so we will say iOS platform 11 and of course then above then 11 it simply means that 11 or greater than 11 but not below 11 okay so 11 or greater than 11 it simply means so I hope you also understand the meaning of this that our iOS application will work on the iPhones which has iOS 11 or greater than iOS 11 that is 12, 13, 14, 15 I think currently uh, with the iPhone 14 the new iOS platform is 15.5 uh, something like this so anyways that is starting from 11 above that it will work for the iOS platform that is iOS 11, iOS 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and so on that is that will come out in the future now after that we are ready so first of all go to the browser back and here click next click next click next and then continue to console so we have our AR furniture app that is our flutter application which is connected to the Android as well as now it is connected for the iOS you can see that so now we have to go back to our Android studio from where first of all let's open up our iOS that is our iPhone so that we can test our iOS application on it that is either it is working or not so let's just wait for our iPhone it is starting going to click on this play button to install the app on my iPhone SE so it is now installing and let's see let's wait for it if you see an error like this that is CocoaPods specs repository is too out of date to satisfy dependencies so you have to basically update your CocoaPods and for that purpose you have to run this command which is 
port repo update just copy this command port repo update not all of all of you who are watching this video will get this error this error only those will get who have an old version of coco part so we have to update it so just type this command port repo update and press enter so it is going to update it and yeah it is updated successfully now let's just again install the app on our iphone by clicking the play button so let's wait for it so our app has been installed successfully everything is working fine we do not get any error so it simply means that our flutter application for the ios is now connected successfully with the firebase so congratulations we have connected our flutter application for the ios to the firebase